Hello, my old school soul food family. Chef Jeffrey back with another video. Okay, I got a few more items left on my cafeteria menu items that we used to eat in school and probably still do. The one I'm doing today is one of my favorites. We used to have this one on not every Friday, but when we had this sandwich, it was on a Thursday or Friday. Most time Friday. This is one of my favorite sandwiches, and it's so simple and easy to make, and it's just awesome. So let me get to the video, and I'll tell y'all while I'm cooking. First thing I do, I use a Holy Trinity in this, which is celery, bell peppers, and onion in this. You can leave out. If you don't like onion, you can leave it out. If you don't like celery, you can leave it out. But the key is, as I get started here, is to chop the, the celery and onion very, very small. And we're going to saute them until they pretty much translucent. Because I don't really want the taste of a big chunk of bell pepper onion when I'm eating my sloppy joe. Did I tell y'all what I was making? Maybe I did. Sloppy joe, that's what we're making. But the reason I dice them so small, because uh, I just want the flavor. I actually don't want to, you know, be biting down on a big hunk of onions or a bell peppers or celery. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get this really, really, really translucent. I'm gonna add a little bit more oil to this. Y'all know I use my leftover chicken grease, bacon grease put in there. I put flavor with flavor, y'all. So we're gonna get this here really, really sweated down, really translucent. And yeah, I'm using a double recipe, that's why y'all probably, some people say, oh, that don't look like what I, in the recipe, because I'm using a double bag. This sloppy joe mix is not going to last no more than 30 minutes an hour in this house today. So I got a crew to feed. Neighbors know what I'm cooking, so it's going to be on with sloppy joes today. So that's why I'm doing a double recipe. So don't be, don't be tripping like, y'all, that don't look like one cup or that don't look like one pound. No, because this is two pounds of ground beef instead of one according to the recipe. So I'm going to saute this down. Get it cooked really, really down. Let me move it over here where y'all can actually see what I'm doing here. Okay. Yeah, this is a this is a sandwich. I mean, the key is, you know, who doesn't? I don't know anybody doesn't love sloppy joes, y'all. I really don't really really don't like I said it's very important y'all that y'all uh, put this down I'm, I'm cooking it longer than I would normally cook it I really want to sweat it down a lot okay now I'm gonna put my garlic in there put some chopped garlic in here get it cooking ain't going wrong with garlic y'all Like I say, the most important part is the first step, is to make sure your vegetables are diced very good. More of a mince, not even chopped. They're more mince than anything else. So, get them in there. All right. Oh yeah. That coming just along really, really well. Okay, now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take the veggies out, most of them. Most of them that can get out of here. Take them out of here and put them to the side. And try to get as most, much of them as you can now. Have to be, I mean, completely, but. Oh, wow, that smells so good. Okay, now I'm gonna cut my fire back on. Reason I did that, I want, a, I want more of a flatter base for when I start my sauteing off my ground beef. Because I don't want to sweat. I want to hear that sizzle like that. That's why that's the only reason I took them out of there. Because I'm making so much. 
So we're gonna let this brown. Now while that's browning, we're gonna make the sauce for the, we're gonna make the sauce for the, uh, for the actual sloppy joe. Okay, got a bowl here. I got tomato sauce, which is only one can. I'm using two, of course, because y'all know I'm making a double batch. Okay, put some brown sugar in here. Mustard. A bit more mustard. A Worcestershire in there. You can uh, make this Worcestershire. If you don't like Worcestershire, you don't have to put it. And ketchup. That's it. I'm going to close this off. I got my lawn people here cutting my yard right now. It was short right now with all that noise. Okay. Now we're going to stir this up. Keep an eye on my ground meat here. Say so you want to brown this off completely. Like I said, who doesn't like fluffy jokes, y'all? Okay, stir this up in here. We're gonna taste this because it's gonna be very important. Oh yeah. Now, I'm gonna do something really crazy. I'm gonna season this instead of my meat. Uncle Steve shake. Very important that we season. This up here. Get another spoon here. Good, y'all. That is good. Okay. Now what I'm gonna do now, even though I seasoned this, I didn't over season it. Put a little bit more season on my meat. Get a little left in there. Put the rest of that in there. Gotta cook with flavors, y'all. And some shake here. Got to be flavorful. <clears throat> okay. Now what we're going to do, we're going to sit here. Like I said, this is so easy. All the thing I got to do now, we're going to brown this all completely. It's going to take about 10 minutes to get it completely cooked. I'm going to come back. I'm going to add my celery and onions and bell peppers to this. Cook it down a little. Hit it with the sauce. Reduce it down about 5-10 minutes and we're going to have us some sloppy joes. So we'll be right back, y'all. All right, y'all, we back. I forgot to put something else in here. I forgot my paprika, y'all. And my chili powder. That's what's gonna give it the color. I can't believe, blame it on my mind, not my heart, y'all. Little chili powder in there. And that's probably not in the picture, but when you first come on, but yeah, I forgot that. Like I said, I make this so many times, I usually just dump, 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 and I saw the meat not getting color, and that's what it was. So, you gotta have your chili powder and all that in there. So we'll be right back once it's reduced down. All right, y'all, we back? Okay, you see my ground beef and all the seeding have all cooked down there. Now, what I'm gonna do, remember those vegetables I set aside? We're gonna throw them in there now, back inside. Get them all mixed up in there. Oh yeah. All mixed up in there, good. That's why it was important to cook your vegetables off first because you can barely see them, but you'll definitely be able to taste the flavor of the vegetables, but you can barely see them in here. Oh yeah. Okay, now. Last thing, the sauce that we made. Remember the sauce that we made set aside there? Now, we all we're gonna do is pull that right in here. 
and let it cook down. Stir that up in there. We got our sloppy joe, y'all. And the thing now, all I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna check my seasoning again. And we're gonna let this cook down. Oh my god. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Very flavorful. Oh my god, y'all. Mm. <coughs> oh my god. What I'm gonna do now, we're gonna simmer this down till it gets thick, cause you can eat it like this if you want to, but I like mine to be a little thicker when I put it on my bread. So we're gonna let this cook down and we'll be right back. All right, y'all, we are back. Okay, I'll turn this off and let it sit up a little bit here. And this is what you get, see that? Nice sloppy joe. Now, let me tell you something. The reason I did a little bit thinner than you might like, longer this sets up, the thicker it's gonna get. This is gonna get a little bit thicker as it sets up in this pot. So I like that. I don't like a dry sloppy joe. That's why they call it sloppy joe. So right now, I got some Texas uh, size uh, hamburger bun. I'm gonna toast them off here. Give me a little toast on my grill. Cause I like to, it like I like to use toasted bun. Of course, in school, you didn't get toasted bun. You just got a cold hamburger bun to eat them on. But I'm gonna toast mine so it creates a barrier between the uh, sloppy joe and the uh, between the meat and the bread, so uh, the bread doesn't get too soggy. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. That's all I'm gonna do, and then we're gonna be eating here in just a second, y'all. This stuff is so good, and I guarantee this whole pot will be gone by tomorrow. Nice, flavorful, shiny. That's the key. That is the key right there. A sloppy Joe's. Homemade. Don't buy no sloppy Joe in there. I see sometimes they got that can of or that sandwich. Mm -mm. Leave that stuff in the store, y'all. Make your own. It's so easy. Y'all see how easy it is. What I'm doing over here, all I'm doing is... uh toasting my bun off here. So we'll be right back here in just a second when I get the bun toasted off and we'll go from there. We'll be right back. Okay, y'all, we back. Okay, I got my bun here toasted. That's all I'm gonna do. Let's see which one the bottom one. That's the bottom one there. I'm gonna put that manwich right on top of there. I call it manwich. See, I got manwich on my mind. Sloppy Joe, y'all. Mm, mm, mm. That's why it's called Sloppy Joe. Look at that. Y'all know that I can't eat this right now because it's gonna be too messy. So I'm gonna let this cool off just a second here. We're gonna come back and give this an attempt to eat, y'all. So I'll be right back. All right, y'all, we back. Okay, we're gonna attempt to pick this up, which I can, y'all. Mm, 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 mm. Why it called Sloppy Joe? Mmm. Wow. Another bite. Mmm. That's hot. Mmm. But it's good. Wow. <clears throat> Look at that. Man, that salt soaks up in that bread. Mmm. 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 I can't go wrong with this, y'all. I have to try the recipe. I have to, y'all. Mm, mm, mm. One more bite. One more bite, y'all. Mm, mm, mm. Now I fork to get all them extra meat. Come out. Wow. Mm. Like I said, y'all, try this recipe. Please visit my other social media account. Excuse the noise, I got my lawn people here mowing my yard right there the other day, so they caught me right in the middle of the video. But anyway, follow my other social media accounts, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Twitter, Twitch TV, and OldSchoolSoulFood.com. Until next time, have a blessed Old School Soul Food Day.